Hello and welcome to this lecture. In this lecture we start the configuration of the HQ48 firewall. So what's the plan? Well first we'll configure IP addressing on port 1, 2 and 3 and then we will also enable uh, the specific services that are needed on, uh, on port 2 and 3. So on port 2 I will enable ICMP connectivity so that I can test reachability from the LAN PC 2 to the firewall and on port 3 I will enable uh, SSH, uh, what else, HTTP, HTTPS for management uh, purposes. And by the way, on the 48 firewall, there is no such thing as a dedicated manage management port as you can see we have available on the Cisco ASA. Every and each port of the 48 firewall can be the management port. It really depends on what services do you make uh, available on that specific port. So because I'm uh, going to connect through uh, HTTP on the, on, the H and on the HQ48 firewall, on port 3 I will enable HTTP and HTTPS and that's the, the main idea. So now just right click on the firewall and say console and I will also increase the font a little bit so that it's uh, easier to see from your side. So let's say 18 and apply. Now let's say admin and just click on enter and that's the that's the default uh, username and password with admin as username and uh, no password just click on enter so let's now concentrate on the configuration let's start with port number one so you'd say configure system interface and then then you'll say edit port one and say set IP question mark now uh, the console is waiting for IP address and subnet mask so in this case it's 80.80.80.80 .80 .80 .80 and I will say slash 30 and not 80 but 81 Actually, it's uh, 80. It's the subnet uh, subnet IP. So 81. Cannot change dynamic IP. So by default, port one, it's uh, configured to be uh, in DHCP mode. So uh, in order to get its IP uh, through uh, through a DHCP. So what we need to do is set mode. And if you uh, if you uh, go to a question mark, you see that the options available are static, DHCP, and PPPoE. So first we have to say set mode static and then to apply our IP address. If we want to test the configuration, you say show system interface. And because we're in this in this specific mode, it will not show us the IP address. So let's say end. This way we also apply the configuration and say again show system interface and question mark. And we see here port 1 it's static and has this specific IP address let's now also enable uh, IP routing so we will configure a default route on the HQ48 in order to point to the internet router and we will say configure router static and let's now edit the first entry in the routing table so edit 1 if you now hit question mark you will have so set question mark you'll see that some of the options have an asterisk so destination and device let's say set destination question mark let's say 0000 and 0000 and also say uh, set device question mark it's waiting for a port interface so in this case in this case it's port 1 and set gateway if you want to also configure it in this case, it's 80.80.80.82, as we can see in the Genesis 3 topology. So with this said, we have uh, we have also configured the IP routing, the default route on the HQ48, pointing to the internet router. Now, uh, let's say exit. No, sorry, end. And let's configure also port 2 and port 3. So configure system interface. Now we will say edit port what port two, and let's say set IP and it is 192.168.1.1, and it's a slash 24 mask, 
and we also want to enable ping icmp so that again we can test connectivity between lan pc and the firewall so we will say set allow access and ping now let's move on to port number three so we just have to say next and edit port three let's configure the ip address so set ip 172.16.100.1 and it's a slash 24 and we also have to configure access so we have to permit some services in order to become a management port so that we can access it through http set allow access let's say even though we will not use a ssh we'll say set allow access and let's just look for the options so ping https ssh snmp uh, http and so on so what we need is http https and that's it so now let's say end and show system interface if you now uh, hit enter you'll have the configuration of all of your interfaces but what else you can do you can say show system interface and question mark so that you have a fast uh, delivery of uh, of the important information so port one with this ip address port two and port three so this concludes this uh, this lecture we now have configured all of the ip addressing on the hq40 gate let's move on to the next lecture where we uh, we continue with the branch 40 gate thanks a lot